Graham Brady, astonishingly, after all these months, if you look at the detail of what he is uh, suggesting, well, you can't look at the detail of what he is suggesting. That's the whole point. This is a quote, a direct quote. There's no need, and I quote, to hammer out those details of what they're going to replace it with. So two and a half years hammering out the details of what would happen to the British border in Ireland, persuading 27 separate sovereign countries to sign up for something. And then we're going back to them and saying, ah, no, nah, sorry, that thing you signed up for. <laughs> so two quotes from this article by Graham Brady in the Mail today. The first is that there's no need to hammer out those details of alternatives to the backstop. And you're not going to believe this, guys. Seriously. Not, no need to hammer out the details, but, and another quote here, this could be done with digital technology. Digital technology that does not exist. It might exist one day, and the minute it exists, you can get rid of the backstop. <laughs> or the minute it exists, you, you can get rid of the arrangements that are in place until the technology exists. So, again, I'm sorry, I was going to avoid talking about this, and I won't talk about it unduly long. But that I've been a little bit haunted by my own prescience on this. So you can find the clip on the LBC Twitter feed. It, 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 it's a bit like... It's a bit like saying that it's the sun's going to come up tomorrow and being surrounded by people who tell you that it isn't. It's not going to come up tomorrow, tomorrow the world, and then the sun comes up. And those people who said that the sun wasn't going to come up get really cross with you and almost blame you for the fact that the sun has come up. I'm finding it really, really uh, hard to unravel at the moment. And I normally love things that I can't unravel, but this is possibly a little bit too gaudy and even for my unravelling sensibilities. So... Uh, all along, the claim has been, it's really easy to fix, right? Digital technology, for example. But the same people that keep telling us it's really easy to fix are the people who are adamant that we can't leave things as they are until it's fixed. Just think about that, because this is a real, yeah, another, the emperor's got no clothes on moment. The same people, Graham Brady being the latest, who claim that it's easy to fix. Oh, there's no need to hammer out those details. This could be done with digital technology. So what's the problem then with having a backstop in place that says, until you've come up with a solution to the problems of having regulatory alignment on two sides of a currently invisible border that follows different regulatory frameworks, if it's really easy to solve... What's wrong with leaving things as they are until the solution has been presented? And I don't hear that question being asked of these people. The same people that say it's really easy to fix are the people that are objecting to current arrangements remaining in place until it's fixed. That's counterintuitive, right? Can everybody agree about that? If it's really easy to do... Tell us how to do it. Oh, there's no need to hammer out those details, says Graham Brady. This could be done with digital technology. Brilliant! This could be done with digital technology. Show us how. Because the minute you show us how, the backstop ceases to exist, ceases to be needed.